In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast, kindled the faith of the people you have made your own, increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed, that all may grasp and rightly understand in what fault they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. They devoted themselves to the teaching of the Apostles and to the communal life, to the breaking of bread and to the prayers. Awe came upon everyone, and many wonders and signs were done through the Apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their property and possessions and divide them among all according to each one's need. Every day they devoted themselves to meeting together in the temple area and to breaking bread in their homes. They ate their meals with exultation and sincerity of heart, praising God and enjoying favor with all the people. And every day the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, 
his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. I was hard pressed and was falling, but the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Give, Give thanks, thanks to, to the Lord, for he is good. His, His love is everlasting. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in his great mercy gave us a new birth to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, keep in heaven for you, who by the power of God are safeguarded through faith to a salvation that is ready to be revealed in the final time. In this you rejoice, although now for a little while you may have to suffer through various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold that is perishable even though tested by fire, may prove to be the praise, glory, and honor of the revelation of Jesus Christ. Although you have not seen him, you love him. Even though you do not see him, now yet believe in him. You rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy as you attain the goal of your faith, the salvation of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah.
Thomas called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger in and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Good evening, everyone, and uh, good morning to all those who are listening in, uh, in the Philippines, especially in Cebu, in Lapu Lapu City. Today is the second uh, Sunday of uh, Easter, also known as the Divine Mercy Sunday. The Church always looks at these eight days from Easter until today as if they were one single day, as we reflect on the single event, the Resurrection of Christ. If you notice uh, from Monday to Friday, we've been talking about the resurrection of Christ and his appearances, many appearances to his apostles and his uh, disciples. The resurrection, as the church calls it, as the core of our Christianity, it is the bedrock of our faith. Wherever the missionaries go, the apostles, the disciples, the, the followers of Christ, at the beginning, they always uh, proclaim that Christ resurrected. And it was uh, St. John Paul II who asked us to offer the Divine Mercy prayer and the chaplet of the Divine Mercy a very strong prayer for life, a prayer for mothers that they will not abort their babies, a prayer for a change of hearts of many people, a prayer for end of uh, genetic uh, manipulation and also killings, especially euthanasia. The chaplet of the Divine Mercy is all entrusted to us, especially to our leaders, that they promote a culture of life so as to end to the culture of death. And in this time of difficulty of this world of pandemic, of the coronavirus, we also pray to the divine mercy of God put an end to COVID-19 disease. So on this eighth day, this Divine Mercy Sunday, 
we ask our risen Lord to pour out his divine mercy upon us and upon all our brothers and sisters who are suffering, especially those who are sick of the coronavirus, those who are wounded, mothers who are wounded by abortion, to those who feel powerless in the face of the growing culture of death, the resurrection of Christ in the end will triumph as we continue to pray for all those who died also of the COVID-19, all those families who are suffering because of their loss of loved ones. In uh, February 1931, was Sister Faustina that saw Jesus dressed in white garment, he healed one hand raised a blessing, and the other hand touching his garment, like a picture of the divine mercy. And we are so blessed that uh, we finally have uh, an icon of the divine mercy. From that point where he touched his hand his, in his garment, two rays of light emanated. One is red and the other pale. The Lord requested that we venerate this image, which is the Divine Mercy image. Venerating is an act of gesture of deep respect toward it because of whom it represents. In this case, it's Jesus Christ himself. And from the diary of Sister Faustina, it says, the two rays denote blood and water. The pale ray stands for the water, which makes souls righteous. And the red Ray stands for the blood, which is the life of souls. And these two rays issue forth from the very depth of God's tender mercy. When his agonized heart was opened by a lamp on the cross. So in this feast of the divine mercy, Holy Scripture reminds us of the many parables taught by Jesus emphasizing God's love and God's mercy. As we remember these uh, three beautiful parables of uh, St. Luke, God is like a shepherd who leaves 99 sheep to go in search of the one lost or the one wandering. God is like a woman who searches the entire house to find the coin that she lost. God is also like a father who comes out of the house to welcome back his prodigal son and who comes out of the house second time to entice the older son to join me. The message of the Divine Mercy is simple. It is that God loves all of us without exception. It is He who loves us first. And He wants us to recognize that His mercy is greater than our sins. So that we can, so we call upon Him trust to receive his mercy and then we share it let it flow to others that's all will come to share his love so in our prayer is a sunday sunday of the divine mercy we ask the lord to put an end to COVID-19. 
he asked for his mercy. We approached him in constant prayer, repenting of our sins and asking him to pour out his mercy upon us and upon the whole world. In this Divine Mercy Sunday, we are asked also to be Christ-like, that we be merciful to all that we encounter in this life. God wants us to receive His mercy and to let it flow to others. That's how we respond to our God who loves us first, to love others, to be merciful, to be kind, to others, to be generous to those who are in need, especially in this time of difficulty. He wants us to extend love and forgiveness to others, just as He does to us. And then to completely trust in God, to trust in Him. God wants us to know that the grace of His mercy are dependent upon trust in Him, that we be like children dependent on their parents. The more we trust in God, the more that we will receive. Ask and you will receive. The power of the Spirit has been released to those who are not afraid of why, of what that might God ask of them. And we are also asked to be active in whatever community that we are in, that we help, especially our faith community, in many little ways. There are so many things that we can do in the church. And so in this uh, eighth day of Easter, the whole Catholic Church is inviting all of us to reflect on the power of the risen Lord and the power of His divine mercy. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Casting doubt aside, we praise our Lord and God and humbly ask for the answers to our prayers and those of the whole world.
for the church stronghold of trust in the everlasting mercy of God, that the gift of faith be generously shared with all who search for it. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who answer the call to a life of civic service, that they may be ever mindful of the sanctity of all life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the wounded, the sorrowing, and the hopeless, that they know God's mercy through the community's love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our brothers and sisters who have died, that God raised them up on the last day, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all assembled here to celebrate Christ's victory, that faith light our lives and the light the lives of those we love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the sick of the parish, written in our bulletin, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. As we especially pray for the intentions of all Filipino families here in Susanville, all OFWs all over the world, for all the people of Susanville, Janesville, Jacksonville, and Herbal, that we all be protected from COVID-19. We pray to the Lord. For the intentions of Nonet Toscano, Willy Lambati, Martin and Fritzky, and for all the people of Mactan Island, Lapu-Lapu, we pray to the Lord. As we pray also for the repose of the souls of Juanita Erfi, Jenny Hernandez, Anisito, and Amelia Ortiga, especially to my cousin Charles Uyui Madan. We pray to the Lord. And we also pray for healing, especially those who are sick of COVID-19, and for healing of Ida Sabalo. We also pray for healing for Leonora, Shane, and Silvestre. We pray to the Lord. And in the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our own personal special intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And uh, we pray also for all our doctors, nurses, caregivers, medical professionals, and all of those who are seeking for a cure to help those affected, to all those who put themselves, their lives at rest, the process of protecting our community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. O oh, Jesus Christ, who traveled through towns and villages, curing every disease and illness, at your command, the sick were laid there. Come to our aid now in the midst of the global spread of the coronavirus, that we may experience your healing love. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good, good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblation of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain an ending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, who son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, who sat in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a seminar when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of God.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jaime, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her choice spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have appeared to throughout the ages, we may merit to be glorious to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. And as if your command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of the peace. Of the world of mercy. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who go to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be For all those watching this live streaming and cannot receive Christ in the Holy Communion at Mass, please join me in this spiritual communion prayer. In union, dear Lord, with the priest at every altar of your church, where your blessed body and blood are being offered to the Father, I desire to offer you praise and thanksgiving. I present to you my soul and body with the earnest wish that I may be always united to you. And since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I unite myself to you and embrace you with all the affections of my soul. Oh, let nothing ever separate you from me. Let me live and die in your love. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, 
that our reception of this pastoral sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God who by the resurrection of His only begotten Son was pleased to confer in you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by His blessing. Amen. May He by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith by living in a right manner on this earth be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thank you for all those who are watching this live streaming. I can see um, some of my friends praying with us. Donai Chaliko, Mami Nerfi, and all my friends in Canada, Joy and Dudung Bakalso, Milani and uh, Armand Ko, Nuni Toscano, and also all my friends from uh, Mactan Island, Cebu.